I got to do some family stuff in the next uh, couple of days, so this is going to be all I can post uh, for now, and it won't be completed, but I just want to do a little bit of work on the, the cord here, get it started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of these items here, and I'm going to move them to another layer so, so it's a little bit easier. I'm going to get rid of this test thing here. I don't need that anymore, so I got that there, and I moved that stuff uh, right there. Okay, I'm going to select that piece right down there, set the origin of geometry, and cursor to selected. Turn on my screencast keys. And uh, okay, so the way I'm going to do this, all right, you can see I got to go from there into there. All right, and I, I'm not, I can't guarantee it's going to be the exact same shape, but it looks pretty. Let's look from the front. Okay, so it comes down, it coils out, goes back. This one looks like a pretty nice curve, so we'll we'll set it up somehow anyhow. All right. So uh, from the front, we got that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the the curve part. Uh, there, do from the side the curve part first. So Shift A. I'm going to bring the curve. I'm going to use a path. I just like to to use a path. I'm going to go into edit mode, and I can see my normal arrows here. So I'm going to rotate Y90 and do it like that. And I'm going to get rid of a couple of these uh, vertices up there. So it's kind of starting from there. Let's see. Let's come down here. And it's going to dip down below, right? So I'm going to let's see, I'll just pull that down. And I'll grab this one. I'll start pulling it over. And I'll do that. I'll do another one. And just you know, do something, whatever. i do another one here. And, uh, okay, so we're not quite on it. So I think what we'll do is we'll grab these. We'll bring them up. I might bring them out, too. Yeah, maybe not all of them. Maybe these ones will come out. Well, on the other hand, would it really do that, right? Uh, let's be realistic here, then. Um, I'm going to grab all of these and bring them out like that. And just mess around so you get what you what you like. There we go. I'm starting to get there. Or you can just hold G. There it is. Maybe that's a little bit close. So do this. Start bringing it in like that. And bring that a little further over. Then you can start looking at it. Okay, it's not a very pleasant curve, uh, <laughs> I realize. Um, so let's uh, take this point and bring it out. Back a bit. You know, something like that. You can spend all the time you want in perfecting the curve. Anyways, you get the i you get the idea. Okay, so let's say that was my curve. I might do a little little bit more. I don't quite like this. line a bit more Look a little bit more natural mm. I'm still messing around with it on the other hand you can always delete a point too if it's causing a problem if it looks too weird maybe that's better alrighty at any rate we're gonna leave it like that so it goes from here down to here okay 3d cursor still there I'm gonna go shift a mesh Bring in a plane, Let's scale it down, and go into vertex. So I've got those, and I'm going to X uh, delete only faces. So I've got that, and scale it a bit more. Um, from top view, I'm going to bring it to the side of this uh, 3D uh, cursor, and I think I'm going to let it go. 
I'm going to rotate X90 or X90. And I'm also going to make it a diamond shape. So I'm going to go RY45 uh, like that. Okay. And we can always scale this later. So uh, I've got that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the screw modifier. And we're going to go into <clears throat> edit mode. And you can see that the um, profile here is, a, is sort of a diamond shape. Uh, you can click uh, here, I'll do that. calc order to flip normals. And as you can see, I can still scale it like this. Okay. So I'm going to uh, start doing this. All right. And you can start seeing how, how it's going to go. I, I mean, I could go in, in any direction. It doesn't really matter. Well, but as you can see how, how that's going to go. And, um, you know, I can scale that in, you know, and, and, and uh, that kind of thing. Uh, I can also go into object mode and I can hit S and I can scale the whole thing in, you know, till I get roughly what, what I'm going to want. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm just going to click a bunch of iterations to see how, how it looks. And um, yeah, that's, that's, that's going fine now. If I just out of curiosity, if I do it in this direction, will we save ourselves some trouble? Okay, so we can start with that so we can have this. Now, the other thing is um, the number of steps that it takes uh, to do a circle. I'm going to reduce that to about six. That's going to lower my polys. Um, I'm going to add a subdivision surface to that uh, and hit uh, smoothing. So we'll start to see what, what it could potentially be like. Okay, uh, I'm going to go S and scale it a little bit more. If I want it thicker, I'm just going to go S and scale that. All right, this kind of thing. So, you know. All right, now the next thing is I'm going to do is I want, I'm going to want it to follow this path. So I'm going to minimize those and I'm going to, um, I've got my path right here. It's the only path I've got or curve. So I'm just going to go add modifier curve and I'm just going to go object nerves path. I'm going to switch over to the to the Z axis and I'm going to pull this down like that and I can uh, set my origin to three cursor and I should also well I'll do that later um, now if I change the iterations here right let's start going like this uh, maybe I will actually try it like that so you see it's following the path Okay, so you can you can do it in, in any direction that you want. Maybe I'll just put that back there. Okay, and keep adding iterations uh, to this thing until I roughly get it to where I want it. Um, the other thing that I can do is in the path itself. Where's my nerves path? There it is. Okay, under the curves, I'm going to want to come down here. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I'll open this up a bit. And I'm going to click on Bounds Clamp and Stretch. And now, if I go into Edit Mode, and say from the front, if I didn't like the shape of that curve, and I took that, the whole curve will sort of stretch uh, to that. Okay, as you can see. So you can still manipulate your your curve. Okay, so I'm gonna come back here. Oh, and also, I'm gonna change this to about. Uh, I'm gonna try not one b one, maybe uh, I don't know four. That'll reduce the polys as well. If I convert this to a mesh, which I'm not sure that I am, although a lot of people would would probably bake this. I think. I think they would. So, you know. Okay, so I come back to this and I might lower the number of iterations and that'll change the curvature as well. And uh, I'm just trying to decide how I will join this to that. Might not want it 
quite as as tight so I can do this and I can work on the iterations until you get a chord that uh, you think does what you want it to do okay so what I will need to do is work on um, the connection which I can I can do later okay but just to see it in in context this is what it looks like so far I could take this and this and I can put the same material on um, I can I can hide the path so we just see it like that it's not done yet but it gives you an idea you can come in here and just you know do a quick OpenGL render so you can see roughly how it would look and again I can still change the thickness and the length and the, the shape and everything all right so that's all I'm gonna have time for right now and we'll come back though and we'll fix it up and make it uh, make it join and then we'll look at what else uh, we need to do uh, at least in the modeling uh, of the alien tracker